now we need to uh, uh, do the same things because I believe in the more you do it, the better you become and the more of a master you become at doing this. So we're going to do, uh, we just finished 12 slices mandala. We're going to do the same thing with 8, 10, and 16. Okay, so first we need a new artboard. So you're going to go to the artboards panel, create a new artboard. Boom, there it is. Probably off to the side somewhere. You're going to call it 8 slices mandala. 8 slices mandala. Create another one. Ten slices mandala. And create another one. Sixteen slices mandala. Alright. So the easiest way to do this is to copy the name. So if you double click, Command C, copy it. Now go create a new layer. So deselect click somewhere off and create a new layer and give it that same name. Copy, create a completely new layer and paste. Copy and paste. All right. So let's start with, let's start with the, uh, uh, I'll do the 16 and then you can do the eight and eight and 10 um, uh, for for the other ones on your own. So the first thing we have to do is uh, I'm going to um, go to my 16 slices mandala by double artboard and clicking on this number four right here. So I am definitely on that artboard. Um, the way you can tell you're on that artboard is if you go shift O, you'll see the name of the artboard right here. That's important. Okay. All right. So I want to go back to my selection tool V. And I'm going to take my circles. Um, the circles are going to be the exact same thing for every single layer. So I'm going to select my circles layer and then select the objects. Got to have these little squares on the side. Copy it. Go to my 16 slices mandala and paste. So there's that. Now it's not quite centered yet. So I have to select that so you can see that it's circles inside there. Uh, it's not centered to the artboard. so. Align to artboard must be set, and then I'm going to sit. I'm going to collect select this align objects horizontal and align objects vertical. There you go. Lock it. And you do the same thing for the ten and the eight slices. So all of these should have circles and circles and all of the layers. Um, blue lines and black lines. They're different angles, so we can't have we can't just copy those. So I'm actually done with the 12 slices mandala. I'm just gonna, I'm going to lock those. In fact, I'm gonna put circles down at the bottom. Should have circles, black lines, and blue lines like this. Lock those layers. And then lock all the layers that you're not working on. So I'm not, I'm not currently working on 12. I am currently working on 16, so I'm gonna unlock 16. So now I'm only working on 16 slices. It's important that you get in the habit of locking layers that you're not working on. That way, stuff you're, you're drawing doesn't end up somewhere else, somewhere off screen on a different artboard. So lock, lock all your layers except for the 16 slices. Now we're going to put the lines in for 16 slices mandala. So same, same process as before. Get your line tool, seg line segment tool, click once, make sure it's 12 inches, and hit OK. Now align it to the artboard, center here and center there. Now rotate it, click once, actually double click there. You're going to have Illustrator do the math for you, 360 divided by 16, right? And hit copy. And there's that. To duplicate it is Command D. Good. Select all and group them, and you're going to call it black lines. Then you're going to select that layer and go to the layers drop down and choose duplicate black lines. You're going to call it blue lines. All right, blue lines. 
select that layer, select the objects, and make them blue. Like that. And then um, we need to rotate them, right? So double click on the rotation tool. It's got to be half of that. So you can literally go 22.5 divided by 2. And you don't need to make a copy. You just hit OK. And there you go. They should be perfectly centered and blue all the way around. Right? Type a V for your selection tool. Click somewhere off, and there you go. Now you need to make them transparent slightly. So select, so unlock your circles, select all the blue, black, and circles, and then select the objects themselves. Select this layer, and then select the object. Make the opacity somewhere around 20 or 30 percent, something like that. Okay, you select off. And there you go, they're transparent. Now lock all those layers. Okay, so I did 16, you go do 10 and 8 in a similar way.